the Central Cheerleaders, and you're watching First and Ten on Color 10. This is First and Ten on Color 10 Sports. Hello, everybody, and welcome to week seven of the high school football season in first and ten. And we're getting close to district play, so teams are trying to pick up wins and improve their district seating. That's the case in Lebanon, where the Yellow Jackets hosted Rolla, and that's where we find Color 10's Dan Malloy. Dan? Dan, Rolla came into this game with a 5-1 and one record, and they had hopes to spoil senior night. But Lebanon, they're coming off of a game where they gave up a three-touchdown lead at halftime against Camdenton. So they made sure they were going to sting the Bulldogs early and often tonight, and they finished up the home slate here with an impressive four-quarter performance. Ty Glendening. Final home game for Lebanon quarterback Ty Glendening and two dozen Yellow Jacket seniors. Rolla is Lebanon's third consecutive state-ranked opponent. Last minute, first quarter, Glendening uses a nice block from fellow senior Connor Tom, galloping to the end zone for a 20-yard score. After one quarter, Lebanon seven, Rolla nothing. Another senior, Jaden Ivey, breaks the game open in the second. He takes this option pitch, cuts across the entire field deep into Bulldog territory. This is a 55 yard gain, leads to a Quamir Wright touchdown. They don't throw very often, so play action is where it happens. Glendening hits a wide open Tanner Roy for a 25 yard touchdown in the second. This makes it 21 zip, Lebanon. Two minutes before half, the Jackets started on their own one yard line, but Jaden Ivey, well, he takes care of that problem. He makes the grab, creates some space on his own, and sprints down the sideline for a 72 yard pickup. And without any time to rest, Ivey on the very next play dives to the pylon from 10 yards out for another score. 99 yard drive right before half makes it 28 0 Lebanon. In the third, the Yellow Jacket defense makes the big play. Blaze Klosner looks like he has a leaping catch for Rolla, but the ball stayed loose and winds up in Glendening's hands. Take another look at the safety making the play. That kind of night for the Jackets. Next drive, Glendening chucks it toward Tanner Roy for another touchdown. A huge bounce back performance for Lebanon. They are 5 and 2 after a blowout win over Rolla. It's really important, especially in the last couple weeks, to get in our groove, you know. We're not really worried about the regular season. We're worried about the postseason and peaking at the right time. The past two weeks, um, we haven't played to our full potential, but uh, this week we got, we got better, so, yeah, we played more like we should. It was really refreshing. Uh, felt like us. Felt like Lebanon Yellow Jackets. No! Very memorable, memorable senior night performances for old pals Ty Glendening and Jaden Ivey. Now they're gonna, the Lebanon Yellow Jackets are going to finish out the regular season with two road games in Springfield, but you heard those kids. These guys are already focusing on staying sharp and getting better to make another run at a Class 5 district championship. Reporting live in Lebanon, Dan Malloy, Ozarks First. Thanks, Dan. Some nifty plays in that one. In Branson tonight, the 2-4 and four Pirates hosted 2-4 and four Nixa Eagles. Branson looking to snap a three-game losing streak against the Eagles, and it was homecoming down in Branson. Check out the little kids. Looking sweet. Nick's a fourth and ten on the 31. Quarterback Reed Potts keeps it, but he stopped just sort of the first down. Nixon turns the ball over on downs. Branson would strike on its possession. First and goal from the six. Gabe Sylvester hands off to the running back Jay Hill, who goes in for the game's first touchdown. It was 7 0 Pirates. Second quarter, Nick's a third and goal from the five. Quarterback Hunter Crabtree's pass out to Alex Wentz. Just a little short. Nixa settles for a field goal. That made it 7 3 Branson, but Nixa would rally late in this game. And wins 18 to 14 Eagles now three and four. In Rogersville tonight, the winless Wildcats hosting five and one eighth ranked Catholic, and the running Irish would get it to Nick Kreitz, and he takes it straight up the middle. This is a five yard touchdown run to make it seven nothing. Catholic's defense was solid tonight as well. Tyler Welch coming in off of the edge, and he would get the sack right here. The Irish keeping Rogersville off the board. Kreitz was trying to score in the second quarter. He would get the ball all the way down to the eight yard line here, but he is hit by the Rogersville defense. Pops the ball out. Wildcats recover. Catholic would get it back later in the game, and the ball again goes right to Kreitz. This time he breaks into the secondary, and he is gone. Takes it to the house. 58 yards for a touchdown. 14 0. Catholic goes to 6 1 with a 31 0 shutout over Rogersville. In Bolivar tonight, 2 4 Liberators hosting 0 6 Clinton Cardinals. Liberators trying to snap a two game losing streak. Bolivar scores in the first. Ethan Dinwiddie, check this out. Breaks one, two, three, four, 
This is the fifth tackle. He never touched the ground. He goes in for a touchdown. 36 yards, 7 0 Liberator. Second quarter, lefty Hayden Burks would roll to his left and then unloads this pass to Brock Pitts, who catches it one handed. That's good for 43 yards in a first and 10. There should be laundry on that play. That sets up this one. The handoff to Dinwiddie comes to the near side, turns the corner, a couple of moves, scores from 35 yards out, 21 0. Bolivar is 3 and 4 after a 60 to nothing shutout over Clinton. It's going to bring us up to our timeout here on first and 10 on the other side of the break. We'll check out highlights from Hillcrest and Central. But first, here's a look at the local college football kickoffs. First and 10 will be right back.